go out. Let's go then. Did I save? I don't remember. I did not. Nothing to check. No single thing to check. Guess it's just go. Alan, if you're here, then no, the cat can't be trusted. You really are proficient at breaking promises. It's quite troubling. The key. It looks sharp. Give that to teacher, would you? Right away. Now. I don't know. I don't know if teacher is a good or bad guy. He seems like such a nice guy, but... Very well. This might hurt a little. I'm sorry. I just stabbed him, did I? <laughs> it doesn't even hurt. Now it can end. This awful dream. Yes, it's the end. Will you hear my story? This isn't my first time in the world. I've been here before. Nightmare Syndrome. As an avid reader, I'm sure you've heard of it at least once. It's a disease that keeps on that keeps one from waking and takes their soul. The cause is said to be unknown, but I believe it emerges in children whose hearts are in darkness. Have you noticed? I took in her children with nowhere to go, helped them, and let them live life with me. But secretly, I observed and studied them as children who could acquire the sickness. I must have upset you. I'm sorry. I want to destroy this world and these dreams, whatever it takes. I lost someone important to me right before my eyes in this world. Ever since then, I thought of nothing else. It was my selfishness. So when you arrived, I was very surprised. Maybe because you reminded me of myself from back then. If I made you unhappy, I thought you'd acquire it, but I couldn't do that. Soon, my door opened. I should have come alone. The rest of you were taken in as well and the entrance grew bigger as a result. I tried various things, but nothing worked. Alan, though you opened the door, you did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. There, 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 it's okay. This is my dream, my world. I've made too much weakness. Before I knew it, I was drowning in more than I could manage. So I have to end it for her as well. I'm not very smart. She often told me so. I researched long, but I guess it was all for naught. Take this. Obtain the locket. I couldn't give you what you wanted most. Because I was never given it. I don't even know what it's like. I'm sorry. If you have nothing, then you should make something. You have wonderful friends all around you. Just take it slow. You're smart, Alan, so you'll be fine. Right. I'm an adult. Allegedly, so they won't eat me. I'll figure something out. There's a number for a man named Cliff on my desk. Say my name, and he'll come help you. He's my one and only friend. He's very kind. You'll be fine. Please forget about me. Then no one will have to come here again. Good night, Alan. Why wasn't I asked? If 
father would be axed then. But I simply wasn't able to ax. Because I didn't know how to ax. What will I do now? I've lost everything. I have nothing. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Ax me. Someone please, ax me. So I guess no one's going to talk to me, right? <sighs> Teacher. No response. Look at his face. Teacher. Good night, teacher. What? No! Why did it end like that? I mean, he died. So this time, I'm not going to say anything to him. Let me check the book. Diary, read. What does that mean? and a note from teacher's locket. It's the boy from earlier and the girl who resembles him. And this note. I'm in beverage, but not in drink. I'm in separate, but not in part. I'm in seven, but not in scene. I'm in drizzle, but not in ran. I'm in cart, but not in automobile. But not in rink, so D. Like drink, you know, and then I'm separate, but not in like a part. So they seven. Ah, oh, so ah, oh. so it's D A V drizzle, but not in rain. I mean car, but not in automobile. Card. Oh, so the D shouldn't be there. So, David. Is that supposed to be the teacher's name? <sighs> I've returned to my own world. Fiona stabbed herself with a knife. 
was it Fiona who had that dream? Then I must be dreaming too. No, I don't want to lose her, to sacrifice her. Fiona is still sleeping. The demon will eat her soul. There's not much time left. With all my teachers given me, I can go to school now. I'm rather reluctant to. I got involved with one particular annoying person. His name Cliff. I don't want anything to do with him. I pray he can let me have some peace. That evening, Fiona's soul was lost. I wasn't in time. Now what am I, go what am I doing to do? I played with Cliff again today. He told me some interesting things. I was wondering how it would go when he dragged me out. He's a good person. Very good. So, teacher is retiring tomorrow. Seems she's having a child. I'm going overseas. I'm anxious, but Cliff will be with me, so I should be fine. Apparently, my novel won a big prize. Cliff submitted it somewhere. I got in a little flight with him. <laughs> I got in a little fight with him over it. I told him if he were going to be popular, I'd use his name. Then went to my room. I don't have any interest in that. I've been having the same dream lately. A dream of that day. Is she angry? Or is she suffering? I have to destroy that dream quickly. There might be another like her, or like me. Just what is X? Maybe I do know. I suppose first I will pay our friendship. How many years has it been since I said I'm sorry? Good morning, teacher. Look, another one came today. <laughs> We're going to run out of places to put them. Letty's the same as ever. Always eager to play. Chelsea's slowly starting to talk to others. She's very good at cooking as well. Joshua told me he found someone he likes. Stella looks as weary as ever. But she seems to be having fun. Mr. Cliff and the others who look after us are all very nice people. There's no way we could forget. We always think of you as our teacher. Because you destroyed the dream and saved us. We'll never ever forget. There's a very low chance of success. But we are looking for a way. Until then, we keep sending it. We send what you said you didn't know. Until then, good night, teacher. <sighs> I do like this ending, though. I do think I'm going to leave it with this ending. I know there are others, right? But I think maybe I leave that up to you guys. If you guys, I think it's a very good game. I like the atmosphere of it. I like the fairy tale part of it. The only thing that might be hard are the riddles because they're like I don't know, or maybe I just suck at it. But I think if you like the game, maybe you want to experience it yourself, maybe try to get a different ending. So, this is the end of Ali's Mare. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye everyone. <laughs>